Excellency Most Reverend Florentino Lavarias, together with his concelebrant, His Excellency Most Reverend Socrates P. Villegas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for the celebration, let us acknowledge our faults and failures, and open our hearts to receive God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the soul of your departed servant, Archbishop Oscar, to whom you committed the care of your family, May with the manifold fruit of his labors enter into the eternal gladness of his Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if before men indeed they be punished, Yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples. 
and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths, for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Alleluia, Alleluia, kami ay The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you, persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sa ating kagalang-galang na Arsobispo, uh, Father Sok, kayo po mga kapatid na nandito ngayon at kapwa nagmamahal at nagbibigay ng pagpahalaga sa ating yumao na kapatid at naging obispo si Archbishop Oscar Cruz. Ako po'y tagapampanga. Isa po ako sa mga inordinahan ni Archbishop Cruz at tanda-tanda ko pa yung kanyang mga sinabi nung ako'y maordinahan. Sabi niya, You are a priest. As a priest, you have to serve, you are to serve people. 
but allow people also to serve you. As a priest, you are to sanctify people, but allow people also to sanctify you. As a priest, you are to teach people, but you must also allow people to teach you. Tayo po'y nandito ngayon, talagay ko, itong diwa na sinabi niya sa akin, ito rin ang ating pinapahayag ngayon. Sa kanyang pamumuno, sa kanyang paglilingkod, sa nagsilbi sa atin, tayo ngayon nandito naman to sanctify Him through our prayers, to serve Him through our prayers. Nandito tayo upang sa gayon, yung pinahayag niyang pagpapahalaga, yun din ang ating binibigay na pagpapahalaga. Kaya lang hindi tayo nagtitipon lang dito dahil meron tayong kapatid na arsobispo. Natitipon din dahil dito dahil yung yumao ay anak ng Diyos. Kamukha ninyo, kamukha ko. Thanks to baptism. Sa pamagitan ng binyag, tayo ginawang mahalaga ng Diyos. Tayo kanyang mga anak. Why? Because we are worthy? No. As St. Paul had said in one of his letters, sabi niya, God loved us and Christ died for us while we were still sinners. So God made us His sons, His daughters because of His love, because of His mercy. If I may continue, isa po sa mga natatandaan ko pa na ginawa sa paglingkod niya sa aming Archdiocese sa Pampanga noon, siya yung nanguna at during his time, from 1978 to 1988 po, naging Archbishop namin siya, sa kanya nagumpisa yung pagpapagawa at yung construction ng major seminary namin sa Mother of Good Council. At siya rin, bago siya umalis, siya yung nanguna para magpatayo ng isang Chapel of the Holy Eucharist na yun ay para bang gift ng clergy sa laity, sa mga lay people in our archdiocese. At hanggang ngayon po, yung mga ginawa niyang policies, instruments, we are still using this. Kasi alam naman natin, ating kapatid na uh, Yumao ay isang administrator. Kaya yung mga policies, malinaw. At kami nagpapasalamat. Nagpapasalamat dahil sa kanyang paglilingkod. At alam ko po, kayo rin na nandito sa ating Archdiocese, kayo pinaglingkuran. Marami rin kayong mga karanasan. Kagabi, I was watching yung misa ni Father Fidelis. Ano? Fidelis, no? At meron siyang uh, sinasabi, binabanggit yung tungkol sa kanyang karanasan kay Archbishop. Yung mga magandang ginawa niya. Meron siyang magagandang ginawa. Pero hindi tayo natitipon ngayon dito upang sabihin natin sa Diyos, Panginoon, ito ang ginawa ng aming kapatid at kapwa na binyagan. Ito ang ginawang maganda ng aming Archbishop. Ngayon, bayaran mo siya. I don't think so. Hindi po ang ating dasal. Nagpapasalamat tayo sa kanyang mga ginawang magaganda. Ngunit alam din naman natin na siya hindi superman. Tayong mga tao, kapwa, mga may pagkukulang. Kaya nga nandito tayo to entrust Him to the mercy of God. Of course, sinihiling natin na wa yung kanyang pinakita at pinamalas na magaganda. Yung kanyang ginawang magaganda sa paglilingkod niya sa atin na wa ito yung magbunga ng buhay na walang hanggan. At na wa itong ginagawa nating ito ay isang pagpapahayag ng ating pagnanais na itong ating kapatid, si Archbishop Cruz, Oscar Cruz, siya ay i-welcome ng Diyos in His mercy, in His love, upang sa gayon maging ganap yung tinanggap niya nung siya'y nabinyagan kamukha natin. Dahil nung tayo'y nabinyagan, 
ipinunlanan ng Diyos yung buhay na walang hanggan. Ngayon nawa sa kanyang kamatayan, dala yung kanyang ginawang magaganda, maging ganap yung pinamana ng Diyos sa kanya. Buhay na walang hanggan. Narinig natin dito sa Ebanghelyo kung paano binabanggit ng Panginoon ito yung tinatawag nating Beatitudes. Para bang sa kapanahunan natin ngayon, para bang tinitingnan natin, nakakaawa yung mga poor. Nakakaawa yung mga naghihirap. Pero kung marinig po natin sa Ebanghelyo, iba naman ang pananaw ng Diyos. Blessed are the poor. Di ba? Blessed. They're blessed. Hindi sila nakakaawa, kundi sila dapat magsaya dahil sila ang minamahal ng Diyos. Sila ang kanyang kinakalinga. Time will come. We will experience this poverty. Whoever you are, whether you are an archbishop, you are a priest, you are a millionaire, we will experience this poverty when we die. And in death, we are happy because we have someone who loves us so much who is filled with mercy. Our God, the God of our brother Oscar Cruz. One thing that I always remind myself of ay yung ginagawa po sa misa. Whenever we celebrate the Eucharist, presided over by a priest or a bishop, we start by admitting that we are not worthy. We say, I confess to Almighty God. Then after that, yung pare, ano sinasabi niya? Please pray for me. I beg you. I beg the intercession of the Blessed Virgin and all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. I believe, kahit na po yung ating present Archbishop ngayon, si Father So, yun din ang kanyang sinasabi, pray for me to the Lord our God. Ating kapatid, si Archbishop Oscar, yan din ang inihiling niya ngayon. Please pray for me and trust me to the mercy of God. May God look upon our brother, Oscar, and make him worthy to enter into his kingdom and live forever in happiness, in joy, and peace with all the angels and saints of God. Amen. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ His Son from the dead. With confidence, we ask Him to save all His people, living and dead. Let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Archbishop Oscar, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the clergy of Linge and Lagupan, and the family and friends of Archbishop Oscar, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brother Oscar, who served the church as a priest, that he may be given a place in the liturgy of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, prayers for sacrifice and wine may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. We humbly beseech your boundless mercy, Lord, that this sacrifice, which your departed servant and Bishop Oscar, while in the body offered to your Majesty for the salvation of the faithful, may now bring him to your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For even though by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory and with him called back into life. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We now proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, my brother bishops and all the clergy. Remember your servant, our Bishop Oscar, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Monica and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, Forever and ever. Amen. 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 With love and gratitude in our hearts, we now call upon the loving Father as we all pray.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who are invited to share in his life and in his mission. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in a most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your merciful kindness, which you have implored, O Lord, benefit the soul of your departed servant, Bishop Oscar, that by these sacrificial gifts he may know the eternal company of Christ, in whom he hoped and whom he preached, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. It is proper to give thanks. Proper to give thanks to the Lord and proper to give thanks to our brother, Archbishop Florentino Lavarillas. Bishop Dong and I were classmates at San Carlos Seminary. He succeeded Archbishop Oscar Cruz in San Fernando, Pampanga while I succeeded Archbishop Oscar Cruz in the Archdiocese of Linga and Dagupan. We both grew to understand the priesthood at San Carlos Seminary. And at San Carlos Seminary, Archbishop Oscar Cruz was the first Filipino rector. So Bishop Dong and I have many things to bond together but our dearly, dearly beloved Archbishop has given us both reasons to be bonded even more. So our Archbishop has traveled all the way from San Fernando, Pampanga in order to be with us, pray with us, and share our sadness. So on behalf of a grateful church in Lingen de Gupan, we say thank you, Archbishop Dong, and we say thank you, Archbishop Cruz, for bringing Dong and I together in the love and service of the Lord. Let us now stand as we join the Archbishop in blessing our beloved, dear departed Archbishop. Let us turn to Christ Jesus with confidence and faith in the power of his cross and resurrection. Risen Lord, pattern of our life forever, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Promise an image of what we shall be, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Son of God who came to destroy sin and death, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Promise an image of what we shall be, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Word of God, who delivered us from the fear of death, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Crucified Lord, forsaken in death, raised in glory, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, gentle shepherd, who brings rest to our souls, give peace to Oscar forever, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, bless those who mourn and are in pain. Bless the family of Bishop Oscar and friends who gathered around him today. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita tu cedo, Espes nostra salve. A te clamamus, Exules filieve, A te suspiramus, Gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illus tuos, misericordes socolos, ag nos converte. Jesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, 
Nobis Pox Om Exilium Ostende O Hemes O The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kindly bow down your heads and we pray for God's blessings. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto Archbishop Oscar, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace. Thanks be to God.